So looking back to last season, the Packers had four different players who were suffering with an ACL injury. David Bautiari, of course, injured at the previous season. And then three different players tore their ACL during the season last year, 2021. Robert Tunyon being one, Elton Jenkins being one, and then Kylan Hill being one. So I want to talk about Kylan Hill and his sort of progress with his ACL injury. Some Packers reporters spoke with him yesterday, so I want to go through some of the quotes that he had to say. But if we look back to last season, the Packers drafted Kylan Hill seventh round last year in the 2021 NFL Draft. And coming into training camp, there was, you know, a running back battle for that third spot. The first two spots were locked up with Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. Jamal Williams had just left to go to the Lions, and so A.J. Dillon sort of moved to that second spot. But then for that third spot, we had Patrick Taylor competing, Dexter Williams, and then Kylan Hill, who was a rookie. Kylan Hill, of course, comes in, beat those guys out, was the third running back on this Packers roster. But unfortunately, in that game versus the Arizona Cardinals in October, he suffered an ACL injury. And if we take a look at how he had been playing, he only had 10 rushes for 24 yards, but he did have 10 kick returns for 199 yards, averaging 19.9 yards per kick return. And that is how he injured himself, bringing out one of those um, one of those kick returns. But I think from watching Kylan Hill in the preseason, watching him play in the regular season, he seems like he's going to have lots of potential coming into the future, and hopefully he'll be ready to go You know, when this season comes around. And I want to read some, some uh, things here from Kylan Hill. So this is in an article from PackersNews.com uh, written by Cassidy Hill and Ryan Wood, and here is what he has to say. We've got some beef with the Cardinals, Hill quipped, but it is what it is. We got the dub. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Hill said he doesn't regret taking the kickoff out of the end zone, even if it was unnecessary. He's optimistic about his return, saying his goal is to be back by training camp. That will put the timetable for his return at nine months. Hill doesn't expect to do any running in his cleats until next month, he said. Before his injury, Hill's explosiveness and agility had impressed the Packers. Entering his age 24 season, he's young enough to return to full speed. He expects the torn ACL to be a minor setback. I feel like once I come back, Hill said, I'm going to be the same player. I know I'm going to be the same player. I've always been in adversity all my life, so it's just a little stepping stone for me. So Kylan Hill's goal is to be back by training camp. Of course, um, you know, the timetable that these players have for themselves doesn't always happen, but that is hopeful that he sort of sees that as a goal because if he were to be ready to go by training camp, Hopefully, he would be ready to come in when the season starts and, you know, be that third running back. The Packers still still do have a few other running backs on the 90-man roster currently with Patrick Taylor still being there. And then a couple undrafted free agents in B.J. Baylor and Tyler Goodson. Um, but I do think that if Kylan Hill can, you know, get back to his former self if his knee is completely healed and he's ready to go, I see no reason why he wouldn't come in once again and be the Packers, you know, third running back behind both A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones. But I just wanted to give you guys that little update on Kylan Hill. Um, I gave an update on Batiari a little bit yesterday. So stay tuned for more Packers news. If you want to see more of this stuff, feel free to subscribe down below. But that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.